Hi everyone, I'm Jake. In April 2023, I set off on a road trip around Australia, car camping out of my 2013 Toyota Prius, and I'm creating YouTube videos along the way for my future self to look back on. This episode picks up just after I left Broome, heading east towards Kununurra, WA. I managed to hit a few obstacles along the way, both literally and metaphorically. But that didn't stop me having fun. I found a bunch of awesome campsites. I went hiking and swimming with some new friends near Lake Argyle. Put my palate to the test at Hootru Distillery. That's moonshine, is that, essentially. Yeah, yeah, that is moonshine. <laughs> that is moonshine. And I discovered an absolute gem of a hike that provided some epic views of beautiful Kununurra. Let's get into the video. That's a bit brutal. That campground was awesome. Ellendale Campground. I think it's about three hours east from Broome on the way to Kununurra. Just stunning. It's just a nice little lake there. It's a free campground. It was pretty busy. Met a couple of people, Ian and Trish, and just chilled out with them in the morning, had a coffee. They agreed to be in the YouTube videos, so I'll put it in. But yeah, I uh, don't get any service out here, so I am planning to head to Fitzroy Crossing where there's a visitor's centre. I want to do some hiking, but I'm not quite sure which roads I can take to get into some of the national parks around here. And from the last video, we know, we learn from our mistakes, and I'm only going to take roads that I know are going to be traversable with the Prius. So. That is the plan. Well, it finally happened. I just hit a kangaroo. So, I've pulled over to the side of the road and I can't even see the kangaroo. It was a small one. I reckon I've lost, yeah I have. I've lost this whole thing here. Oh, that's what it is. There you go. <laughs> right. Oh man. Oh yeah, some cracking under here. But, tell you what, I have got away with murder there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even think about that pun. Oh, that's, that's horrible. <laughs> with murder. Jeez. Oh man, I better go back and try and find it. God, that's so lucky. That is so lucky. I mean, unlucky, but lucky the car is still intact. It actually looks fine. All the bolts are still in place. What else might have gone wrong here? No. No, it looks good. Looks good. Well, I guess I'll pop that in the boot and take it somewhere. I'm almost to Fitzroy Crossing at least. I've got a new passenger. The plus side is, it looks like only one, two, two holes have torn loose. And there's Geez, probably 20 holes in that thing. So we might be able to just put it back on. Okay. I found an automotive shop, but I reckon they might be full. Guess we'll find out. 
Unfortunately, they are booked out the whole day and they don't have a mechanic that can fix my uh, mud guard. But he said it's um, fixable and it should be back to 100%. So off to Halls Creek. Hopefully there is a uh, mechanic in Halls Creek that can help me out. This is apparently the Fitzroy River crossing. And it was completely taken out. I can't remember what year, but it was relatively recent uh, by the floods. And so they are building a new bridge. Look at that. Apparently there's some rain coming too, so I've come at just the right time. Counting my lucky stars. Hey, 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 Halls Creek has a Toyota. I will chuck a cable tie through the bottom of them. That'll just hold it all up for you. So let's see through around all them three and then that one there. Yep. That'll hold it. Well, we're looking pretty good here. We got one in there. One there. One there. Couple there. And under here, we've done the old cable tie trick. One there. And one there. And that should at least hold it until I get to Darwin. Glad I still had the mud flap. Glad I went back and got it. Um, so we've put that back on and I'm ready to go. And she gave me a recommendation for, she said it's a bit sketchy here at night so don't camp here. And I've got about two hours till dark and it's the campsite that she recommended is about an hour towards Kununurra. So happy days. I am going to be going 80 k's, maybe even slower, uh, up there, so it might take me a while, better get on the road. I've made it to the campsite. It is called Leicester's Rest at Ord River. It's set back from the road a bit, so I'm hoping it's going to be relatively quiet. It's extremely popular. I think we have um, a lot of retirees and people with camper vans going around Australia. I just met some people over there from Melbourne and another couple of people from Victoria, not Melbourne though. The lady at the Toyota gave me this book about Kununurra and I had absolutely no idea how cool Kununurra is. So I'm getting really excited. I'm gonna have some food. I'll probably go out, there's a couple of tables there and Everyone seems to be pretty social. Someone, someone's playing a game of cards and I might just go out there and say hi. That's what I'm doing. And then I'll go to bed and then I'll get up and I'll head to Kananara and hopefully outrun the rain. Awesome sleep last night, bloody hell. 11 hours. That is ridiculous. Just have my coffee. Packing up the inverter. Got about three hours left to Kalanara. Let's get on the road. Guys, after a while of camping in my car, in car parks, campsites, etc., I've decided to get a hotel. It's about 150 bucks a night. Kalanara is actually pretty expensive overall, so it's one of the last places. But look at this got a nice big king bed place for my luggage, a couple of chairs, dedicated workspace for working this week, a nice little TV, got Netflix, hide of the camera, a little fridge, a little kitchenette, air conditioning, thank god it is really hot here, nice little shower and toilet and little bathroom. What more could you want? am on a Thursday morning everyone's going to work and these sprinklers have come on they are right next to a cafe so they're just spraying all over the footpath some of it's actually going on grass so that's good other bits are hitting into like what I think are bike racks and then they're spraying everywhere 
and then cars that are going past them on that road. So I just heard some guy go past. And he was on the phone with someone. And he's just like, oh, I just got some shit on me. <laughs> he had his window open. Oh, man, that was... Got me giggling in the morning. Whoever commissioned those sprinklers and put them on whatever timer they're on right now needs to be fired. Stat. It's about an hour south to Lake Argyle. I've heard there is a pretty cool infinity pool down there and a beer garden and a restaurant. So from where you are here, the lake's over this way. Oh, how good. I've got a good site then. A... Sort of me out. The best I could. <laughs> <laughs> this is the campsite. And that is me. That's my campsite. The Discovery Resorts campground is located just adjacent to Lake Argyle, which is 70 kilometres south of Kununurra. According to Wikipedia, Lake Argyle is Australia's largest body of fresh water, equivalent to 19 Sydney harbours worth of water. After I landed the drone, it started raining, so everyone took refuge at the on-site restaurant. I hung out there for the rest of the afternoon, had fish and chips for dinner, and then went to bed. I do, yeah. It's surprisingly roomy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, just done the Ord River Lookout Trail, Gorge Trail thing. And I've decided to go into this infinity pool even though it is going to be super cold. I think we're probably the only ones crazy enough to do this at the moment. Hashtag Victorian. It's pretty fresh. Yeah, it's pretty I fresh. Think, I think about a <laughs> there we go. Alright, now we're in. <laughs> oh, check this out though. I guess this is the reason you do this, right? Yeah. <laughs> Safe to say that infinity pool was cold. And we did it all just in time. We did a little hike this morning, which was really nice. And now, it is raining and super cold. Trying to figure out what to do. What does one do in cold, rainy weather? Drink, right? <laughs> okay, I'm back in Kananara. Stopped off at the Hoochery Distillery. Got a nice outdoor area here. These are all their silos. Don't know too much about it, so I figured I would sign up to the distillery tour which happens in about oh, an hour and a half. And uh, they said there'd be about an hour wait on food because they're really busy. So that kind of works out well. So that's moonshine essentially. Yeah, yeah, that is moonshine. That is moonshine. That's what, that's what I... Yeah, right. <laughs> some sleep last night. My watch is telling me the same thing. Excellent recovery. I'm 
here at the Kimberley Land Waterfront Holiday Park or Caravan Park. There's my leftover salad for last night. <laughs> and I got a great spot here. Right on the waterfront of the Lily Creek Lagoon. So I think it's time to get up and have a coffee. And then I'm keen to do a hike. I think it's called Elephant Rock. Which actually, I reckon you might be able to see from here. I think that's it. I think I'm gonna go climb that mountain. Hot tip for those camping in the bush, carry a bottle of spray vinegar. It's just a little spray bottle I picked up on Amazon and then filled it up with vinegar. When I'm finished with my coffee, just give it a little bit of a spray. Wipe it out with a bit of paper towel. Clean. Quick and easy way to clean up. This doesn't look very Prius friendly. So, just parked up over there. And I'm gonna walk the rest of the way. Okay, I'm hiking the Elephant Rock Trail. I'm just walking up a four wheel drive track. And uh, hopefully, we end up climbing that. All right. Found the start of the trail and we go up. Lake Kananara, people. Not at the top yet though. I assume there's another nice view waiting for me. Made it to the top of Elephant Rock. What a stunning view. I'm so glad I did this hike. Ah, oh, Kananara tick. Got some horrible weather while I've been here, but I think we managed to make the most of it. I'm off to Catherine today. I think I'll head off after this. This has been an awesome hike and a great way to finish this video. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Press record and I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? What am I saying? This has been a good week. It has been a good week. Hey!